Okay, we're still recording. <clears throat> so hopefully we can read some more. I've got to upload the last two verses of Genesis chapter 47. And that is the end of that chapter. And we can go to chapter 48 in the meantime. And read the first few verses while the uh, other reading uploads. And let's put in our bookmarks for anybody that has not used this feature. It's nice if you have it. Uh, save just because these don't come pre-bookmarked in the PDF file, so if I can bookmark it, then if I want to come back and read Genesis chapter 48 later, it will be a lot easier to get to. So let's do that for this version. And we'll be set up later. And so, let's read Tyndale first and King James second. Genesis chapter 48, verse 1. And so when these things were done, it was told to Joseph that his father was sick. And he took his twelve sons, Manas two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, and he disposed to go. And King James... And it became to pass after these things that one told Joseph, Behold, thy father is sick, and he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. Verses 2, 3, and 4 in Tyndale. And it was said to the old man, Lo, this son of Joseph cometh to thee, which was comforted, and sat in the bed. And when Joseph entered to him, he said, Almighty God appeared to me in Luza, which is in the land of Canaan, and blessed me, and said, I shall increase and multiply, and I shall make thee to companies of pupils, and I shall give thee to this land, to thy seed after thee, into everlasting possession. Everlasting possession. Interesting. Now King James. And one told Jacob, and said, Behold, thy son Joseph cometh unto thee. And Israel strengthened himself, and sat upon the bed. And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me at once in the land of Canaan, and blessed me, and said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful, and multiply thee. And I will make thee a multitude of people, and will give this land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. Chapters 5, or verses 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, Tyndale. Therefore, therefore thy two sons that been born unto thee, born to thee in the land of Egypt before that, I came hither to thee, Shulan be mine, Ephraim and Manassas, as Reuben and Simeon, Shulan be heritage to me. Heirs to me, inheritance. Something maybe like that. For soeth the other which thou shalt gender after him shall be thine, and thy shall be called to, clept to, but clepid, thy shall and be clepted, they shall be called by the name of their her, her brethren in her possessions. Possessions, as in things. Verse 7. For soeth when I came to Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, Rachel was dead to me in the land of Canaan, in thy ilk way, and it was the beginning of summer, and I entered into Ephrata, and bride her besides the way of Ephrata, which by another name is called Bethlehem. Bethlehem, there you go. For so Jacob say the sons of Joseph, and said to him, Who been these? He answered, Thy my sons, which God have to me in this place, gave to me in this place. Jacob said, Bring him to me, that I bless him. Now King James. Uh, 5, verses 5 
to 9. I'll have to scroll up to do this. But. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt, before I came unto thee in Egypt, and are mine, as Reuben and Simeon, they shall be mine. And thy issue, which thou begettest after them, shall be thine, and shall be called after the name of their brethren in their inheritance. And as for me, when I came from Padam, Rachel died by me in the land of Canaan, in the way, wet, when yet there was but a little way to come upon Ephrath. And I buried her in the way of Ephrath, the same as Bethlehem. Okay, let's make sure that's working, and if that is, maybe next time I'll go a little longer. We'll stop on verse 10. We've read Genesis chapter 48, verse up until verse 9. And uh, let's just keep it short and sweet, make sure it's working. So far, so good. Thank you, God. See you next time. Aloha.